This video is going to show how to paint a radiator. Painting a radiator is normally an easy job, but the critical part is choosing the correct paint. Normal gloss paints do not normally look well for long on radiators and can soon look shabby. If you wanted to, you could use radiator enamel, or you can buy a special gloss paint specially for use on radiators. If you have floor coverings down, it's a good idea to put a dust sheet down to protect the floor. Before applying any paint, it is essential to mix it properly before use. So a mixing paddle in a drill can make this much easier and is essential if the paint is a couple of years old. The Zinzer Perma White used in this video is at least four years old, but has been stored in a dry location away from frost. To start with, you need to ensure that the radiator is clean and ready to be painted. It's a good idea to switch off the central heating and ensure that the radiator is at room temperature when it's going to be painted. This radiator is in a bathroom and is rusty at the bottom. So to start with, I'm going to remove the loose paint from the area, then use a sanding pad to sand down the loose rust. I'm now applying a rust converter which chemically changes the rust into a surface that can be painted onto. Once that has dried, I am applying Zinzer cover stain over the affected area. This will prevent the rust from ever showing through the top coat of paint. If the radiator has previously been painted, it's a good idea to prime the surface using Zinzer 123. This will ensure the new paint sticks and will prevent any previously applied paint from showing through. If you were painting a brand new radiator, you can skip this step. The Zinzer 123 is water based and can be painted over in about one hour. I'm applying the primer using a quality Purdy XL brush ensuring that the brush is loaded generously, then brushed out, so that there are no brush marks or drips. You can see that I'm taking special care where the indentations are, as this is a place that could be prone to drips. After the Zinzer 123 has dried, it's time to apply another coat of paint. I'm now using Zinzer Perma White, which again is water-based and will give us a durable satin finish. On this radiator, I'm just using the white version, but on this smaller radiator, I have had the Perma White tinted to a magnolia color. I'm using a quality Purdy XL brush again to apply the paint, ensuring that the paint is brushed out evenly with no drips. After two hours, I'll give the radiator a second coat and then that will leave it with a durable finish that is easy to clean and should last for years. I'd like to thank you for watching this video and please subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already.